just raise your hand when you have a question. We'll get a mic over to you. We'll let uh, Coach give an opening statement, then we'll take some questions. Yeah, obviously very disappointed. Um, the guys had a uh, uh, um, uh, a good week of practice. Uh, um, I thought our guys were excited to get in the game, and, and obviously the first half, um, other than the uh, uh, last touchdown that we gave up defensively, you know, come in there at halftime, you're in a battle. Um, would have liked to have uh, scored a couple touchdowns, but we had, did kick uh, two field goals, 11 point game. Feel excited about uh, coming out in the second half. Hopefully, get a stop and. and uh, our offense in the first half seemed like, you know, we'd have a couple good plays and then we'd have a negative play, whether it be a penalty or a, uh, uh, um, uh, some miscue that would get negative yards and we just weren't able to uh, sustain a drive. But, um, uh, you know, the plan going into the game was on offense to run a couple different tempo plays, do some things uh, that Cole does well, um, uh, give our chance for our offense to, to, to uh, limit what, they, what, what uh, Auburn was able to provide uh, defensively. But, uh, after the halftime, really uh, liked the look in the guys' eyes. Came out, they scored that opening, opening drive, and never really, we never really responded well after that. Um, obviously, uh, 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 we got sloppy on defense with some tackles, uh, gave up some big plays that uh, uh, were routinely down in the first half, and then offensively, we again uh, fumbled, uh, um, uh, the fumble and ball security in the pocket. One of the big things Cole's going to have to do is, is is learn his awareness there and put two keep two hands on the ball, and you know, we got to do a better job of protecting him, but. Um, you know, from an injury standpoint, unfortunately, Chase uh, Hayden is uh, 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 got a, a will get future results, but he's probably going to be out for a significant amount of time. Um, uh, lost Dre Coley during the course of the week uh, in practice, uh, 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 as well as uh, um, uh, Kendrick Jackson didn't play today. He actually lost his mother on Thursday night, so uh, he was back uh, back home and wasn't able to join us today. Um, uh, uh, Austin is getting better. Uh, uh, was able to uh, actually go and throw a motion this week, so he, he's uh, probably closer to being back uh, than he ever has been. And um, we'll see how that bridge, uh, how, we, how we cross that uh, this week. Um, but extremely disappointed for our guys, our players, our fans. Uh, I thought we had a live crowd out there tonight. It was really uh, fun to walk out in that environment. And obviously, we didn't give them a reason to. Uh, sustain in the second half, but uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the the environment our kids walked into tonight. With that, open up for questions. Hey, Brett, as the losses have started to mount or have mounted, have you put any thought back next season? Yeah. Um, I, I've uh, Obviously, this is uncharted waters for me. I've never been in a, a situation where we're 2-5 and five and, and disappointed where we're at. Um, you know, the greatest thing about a coaching position is this. You just worry about the day in front of you. I know that it's probably not the answer you want or, or the, the thing that you want to write, but I, I, I do. You just get in there and go to work. I know we're close. Um, um, we, we end up, uh, I think, really getting heavily down on ourselves. You know, that third quarter got ugly at the end of there, and, and uh, our kids did resiliently come back. But uh, I can't worry about anything but the day in front of me, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't really worry about the future or anything like that. I just worry about Ole Miss now. Yeah, Brent, uh, two, two-parter. What's Chase's injury? And I know Auburn didn't run for as many yards as they did last year, but still that they ran for a lot. What yeah. do you think of the run defense? Yeah, I, I don't want to comment on Chase, so I know for sure. I know it's a lower leg injury and, 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 and haven't confirmed anything up uh, from there. And then, yeah, we uh, obviously uh, knew f- – uh, not just from a year ago, but obviously that they've been able to run the ball effectively. They're averaging, you know, a pretty big number of, of rush and, uh, had the intent and the idea to, to make this game go in our favor. We had to stop them from running the football. And again, at times did it in the first half, but the second half it just got out of control. And again, we got lost the edge on a couple plays, lost, uh, lost some, uh, some, uh, uh, root, some tackles that need to be made and, and be able to get the ball down. Right. How much of this stuff, the problems with, with the protection, all this stuff goes back to the offensive line. And how, how do you guys fix? Yeah, that? you know, we're we're just uh, uh, again uh, numbers. Uh, wish we had more healthy numbers. Johnny Gibson is trying to give us everything. He didn't really practice during the course of the week. Um, uh, try to get him through to the weekend. Um, you know, uh, Colton, and then we had uh, Brian Wallace in there um, trying to find the five best guys. Uh, last week when we moved Frank uh, to guard, it was really because we didn't know we didn't think B Wall and and and. Uh, uh, Paul Ramirez, if he was going to be able to play, and that's why we had to move him out. But um, again, it's just got to continue to work and keep pushing ourselves. Um, obviously, uh, keep bringing guys along and hopefully develop uh, uh, some players here in the next five weeks. And then, obviously, recruiting takes effect. Just, just as a follow to that first one, where for you, where is the hope coming from for the rest of this year, for next year, and and and. What is the hope? I guess you're selling to the players and to the fans. Yeah, I, I think the hope is that you uh, everybody's going to do their job, including starting with me, obviously. Um, 
I, I don't think that uh, probably the outside world can figure the part out that whether you're you know seven and zero or two and five or anywhere in between, the, the part that you work on is how do you get better every day. Um, never lose focus from that. I never deviate from that. Um, uh, the hope is obviously you got great kids with great character, and you're around kids that that want to be successful. Uh, have you been able to identify any common through? You guys have struggled in the second half for a, for a few years yeah. now. Is it, have you seen anything? I mean, how does that keep happening? Yeah, you know, going back to uh, obviously the last two games from a year ago and to where we are today, the the, the second half is a, a mental barrier. Um, there's certain things we do during the course of practice to try and emphasize it. Uh, it, it definitely gets talked about, but I think it just comes down to being able to uh, have guys make plays, you know. Obviously, as coaches, we got to put them in a better position, but um, guys have to make plays and, and uh, be able to move the chains on offense, score in a red zone, and on defense, we got to make tackles. Back to Bob first. I think four of your losses have been to teams that are ranked in, in either both or one poll. I know the second half's tough, too, but it looks a little more manageable, I guess you'd say. Just how, how do you feel going into this, this last part and – and having a shot to get to a bowl. Stand. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, two or five. You got five in front of us. Um, uh, I, I think the, the the thing that you have to be able to understand is is the only way you can get to the end is is by working tomorrow. If we try to, you know, I, I cut off a, a conversation uh, earlier that you know uh, it's natural to start this week. They were talking about you know how we changed from two and four the last time we were in this position, and you won six out of the last seven. And and I did reference what was in front of them, but if 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 anybody starts worrying about how they're going to get to uh, the end of the year, we're going to we're not concentrating on what's in front of us, and that's the only way. Whether you're winning or you're not, or you're not winning, you have to focus on the task in front of us. So uh, tomorrow we'll we'll uh, um, I'll make our corrections, watch the film, and then we'll jump into Ole Miss preparation. And we got to concentrate 100 uh, percent on beating Ole Miss and everything that we have to do to uh, prepare for that. A little bit about this, but with all the negativity surrounding the program, um, what can you do for yourself and your players to keep them in track for the rest of the season and maybe become below? Yeah, the you know, I, I know uh, it's probably easier for us as coaches. Uh, I know players obviously go to class, they have family, they have uh, 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 social media that they deal with. As, as coaches, um, your your approach and your plan isn't, isn't different whether you win or lose. It's um, every minute of the day is poured into everything you can to make the preparation for next week, and that that's really where it is. I don't think you can be oblivious to it. I, I get it. Um, I think our players especially know that. Um, uh, we got good. We got a good group. Of, we don't have a lot of seniors, but we do have some guys that have weathered the storm and, and uh, been through these situations before. And I think they'll they'll be the guys that control that locker room as well. What did you see on the kickoff return for the touchdown? And then also, did you ever think about putting Ty Story in? Uh, the, the first part, uh, the KOR. You know, this guy is obviously. Uh, I think I said it the other day. Forty-two of his forty-nine have been touchbacks, and so we we, we knew that uh, when they were kicking into the wind in that direction, there's a good chance we were going to get a runner. Um, uh, it's a it's a routine. It's a it's a, a return that we said I put it in probably two weeks ago, and we just kind of been working it, and uh, finally got the chance, and everybody blocked it up. I thought uh, Davion made a nice initial through the hole, but then he bounced it left and just about ran some people, and and uh, uh, you know obviously a positive thing on a negative day. Oh, tie story. Yeah. Um, I think maybe if there was one more possession, but I think we Cole, with Cole, we just wanted to keep repping him and getting him as many rep opportunities as we can. We didn't want to, um, you know, uh, uh, take him out of there and then on a negative note, we wanted to have him be positive and obviously to get that score was big. Coach, uh, Coach, 50, 48, 41, and now 52 points in the four losses. The defense that you, uh, that you, uh, put in place in the off season. Are you still happy that it was the right choice? Do you do you make any significant changes that the points are all above forty one? Yeah, um, you know, I, uh, obviously the defense. Uh, um, again, at, at halftime, you know, the guys are doing some good things, very very positive. Uh, we turned the ball over um, and, and gave them some good field position. Obviously, the one the last touchdown before the end of the half was a a, a botch punt return. You know, so. Um, I, all those points, I get it. It's good to read them off, but you know they're not on the field for some of those, and they're going to keep getting better. And unfortunately, uh, uh, um, you know, with the loss, it, again, you, you want to limit the points, but uh, we're a three-four team, and, and hopefully, getting better each week. Right, time for a couple more, Clay. Coach, um, did Austin throw it, or you just say he? Did a motion? Yeah, no, he was uh, over there on the side of the day last week. Or last uh, last week, at some point, he got full range of motion. You know, now it's just a matter of getting the strength back in there. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's further along than he has been obviously in the last two weeks. Trey, 
Right, you want the no huddle. Um, that kind of goes against what you've always kind of mm-hmm. believed in. Do you, do you feel like you're just kind of forced into having to do that with the rules the way they are, or is it just just trying to find something that works? Yeah, I think I think for two things. First, uh, what we always try to do is is put our players um, in what they do best uh, at the forefront. And I think Cole, for sure, he just again since his first day on campus, when he'd run two minute drill, he was very natural, very uh, instinctive uh, guy. He sees the field really, really well. Um, so that's kind of the driving force behind it. Um, also, when you're when you're playing teams. Uh, uh, defensively, they like to sub uh, certain personnel groupings. Uh, if you're able to go no huddle and keep that sub substitution rule uh, working in your favor, we could capitalize on that. But um, I think we just got to do whatever we can to try to win a ball game. If that means we got to go tempo, we got to go tempo. Um, I, I, I thought our guys had a good preparation week on it. We had the ability to go kind of three different phases today, three different speeds, and, and used all three. Last one, second row, right in the middle. Brett, looks like you guys only had nine. Defensive players on the field, their first touchdown. How does yeah. how does that happen? Yeah, um, again, we when they had a big play, they, they we knew they tried to go as fast as they can, and someone yelled for a substitution to go in, and we, we just didn't able to we weren't able to uh, to do that, um, and and made the adjustments after that play to make sure it didn't happen again. So the guys came off, and the guys didn't get off. Correct. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach. Yep.